This is Mike Reed, and this is Mike Reed. I know you're thinking that he's the answer to that juicy trivia question about the country hitmaker with a Super Bowl ring. And I'll get into his impressive resume in a second. He played for the Cincinnati Bengals, and dang, wouldn't that be good synergy? But nope. Mike was a pro bowler and is in the College Football Hall of Fame, but his Bengals were only so-so for most of his career. It is possible that he sacked the country hitmaker who does have a Super Bowl ring, however, but I might have said too much. Hey, it's Addison Hager, and before we go too far, who's winning this weekend? Thumbs up for the Rams and comment for the Bengals. And then subscribe if you've been looking for a great resource for country music news and analysis. We're pretty good at covering Yellowstone too. Believe it or not, there's a bunch of country artists who played football at a high level. Some you never heard music from. Like former Tennessee Titans quarterback Kerry Collins. In 2009, the team made a big deal about his skills, but that never transitioned into much. A lot of athletes think just because they can make a hit, they can make a hit. Golfer John Daly comes to mind as someone else who gave it a try, but I digress. This is about football. So here are some country hit makers who played in high school, starting with Willie Nelson. Check out that leather helmet on Willie. He played for Abbott High School in Abbott, Texas, and we're told was a decent halfback. Hey, run games mattered back then. We also found pics of Darius Rucker in the jersey and pics from Gibbs High School wide receiver Kenny Chesney and multi-sports star Garth Brooks from his Yukon High School Go Millerman! By this point, everyone kind of knows Toby Keith played semi-pro football for the Oklahoma City Drillers, but here he is as a defensive end for more high school. That honk -a -tonk, but donk -a -tonk. Now Trace Atkins was an offensive lineman in high school and college, but he got hurt because he's Trace Atkins and let's be honest, he's always been sort of snake bitten. Modern day college stars include long snapper Lee Bryce, who played at Clemson, linebacker Chase Rice, who was a starter at the University of North Carolina before an ankle injury his junior year, and Sam Hunt, who was the quarterback at University of Alabama Birmingham before getting a tryout for the Kansas City Chiefs. Spoiler alert, he didn't make the team. Before we get to the Super Bowl quarterback who had a hit, let's talk about the one who didn't. Troy Aikman says he's embarrassed by the records he made in the mid-90s when he led the Dallas Cowboys to three Super Bowls. Decide for yourself. Driving down 66, this old pickup truck and me, and your memory. Okay, yeah, that's not good. But what about the song called The Good Old Dallas Cowboys that he did with Waylon Jennings? We're loud, we're proud, that's what it's all about, football at its best. Yikes. It's the walk on faith, trust and love. I mentioned Mike Reed at the top of this video, and he did have two hits. Old folks with Ronnie Millsap reached the top five, and Walk on Faith hit number one in 1990. He also wrote Bonnie Raitt's I Can't Make You Love Me, and Ronnie Millsap's Lost in the 50s Tonight. You'll we'll hold each other whenever we Which was the most played country song of 1985. So you have to say he's the NFLer with the most country success, but maybe not the most famous. That's because of this song. I'm so awesome, In 1976, legendary Pittsburgh Steelers quarterback Terry Bradshaw notched a top 20 hit with the cover of Hank Williams' I'm So Lonesome, I Could Cry. And you know, it's not bad. He kind of glossed it up some, but he sounds good. Terry would drop a full album based on that song the same year, but more or less make it a hobby, outside an appearance as the deer on The Masked Singer in 2019. In 2020, he released Quarantine Crazy, which is cute. Now all this time with them has sure been a blessing. His daughter Rachel is an aspiring singer and songwriter in Nashville currently. I'm Addison Haker for Taste of Country, and which country artist surprised you most that played football? Let us know in the comment section below before you go. Thanks for watching, and as always, Thanks for subscribing.